My name is Javier Blasco. I'm a PhD student from the University of Lisbon. And right now I'm in the middle of my PhD, uh, studying the diversification of Scorpio fauna uh, across Europe. Scorpions, like spiders, are arachnids, which means they have eight uh, walking legs and a pair of uh, modified um, appendices that they use to basically, in the, in the case of scorpions, to hunt, which are the, uh, what we know as pinthers, and the scientific term that we will use would be kila. And uh, the particular thing about scorpions is that their abdomen is modified in the shape of a tail, which contains the stinger and which they obviously use to hunt as well. And that makes them venomous, although only a few species are dangerous to humans. My grant was um, mainly based in Turkey and Greek islands, but uh, since you have to travel to Greece to get to the islands, we also seized the opportunity to, to explore some of these regions. And um, yeah, Mount Olympus is obviously a, a landmark, as you mentioned, because of the mysticism that surrounds the, the mountain, but also, it's an important biodiversity hotspot in Europe, as many mountains. And uh, we, since there were past records of scorpions in the area, we thought it might be interesting to explore some parts that haven't been explored before. And that's how we found this new species. Yeah. So scorpions normally are really alike and it's very difficult to tell them apart unless you're looking at them through expert eyes. But with this species, from the very first moment we, we saw it, it was, it was a shock because it was really, really, really different morphologically to what we known from this group. It's really, really big. So only with that we could uh, say that, okay, this is really strange for this group because they normally are like 30 millimeters long, not more. And this one was almost 50 millimeters long. And also inhabit in a really particular habitat at uh, the foothills of Mount Olympus in between really narrow crevices. And it exhibits clear adaptations to that habitat. All, their, all its appendages are really elongated. It's really, really beautiful. These relic forms that you may find normally in mountains, caves, or really specific habitats, basically got isolated through a period of time where the climate was unstable. In the case of this scorpion, probably it was not only the glaciation that occurred with, uh, across the Pleistocene, but also the formation of the mountain itself, because the scorpions are really, really old animals, and they've been around us since even before the formation of these mountains begin. So these guys were there probably while the mountain was uh, getting formed or getting the last steps of its formation and got isolated in that really particular habitat. there's a general pattern that says the bigger the scorpion the less venomous it is and it's kind of actually true most of the big species rely on their uh, kila on their pedipalps on their pincers to grab prey and they barely use the stinger because they have really a really greater strength well that's a difficult question but I think since when I was uh, a child, I started reading books about uh, creepy crawlies. I always loved dinosaurs, sharks, different kind of uh, documentaries. And that really 
seemed like my passion at that time. Everybody was like, oh, it's just a phase. You will come, you will overcome it. But I guess I never did. And since I was little, I've been catching bugs and trying to guess which species they belong to and things like that. So I would say it comes from the from the very first moment I I was born. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> 